What is up, YouTube? Clickwit here back again. And today, guys, what I am bringing you is kind of a public service announcement for those of us who play Madden 15 Ultimate Team or really who play any sort of Ultimate Team or any game mode like that. And today, guys, what I want to talk to you about is scamming and how not to get scammed. Specifically, the type of scamming that we're going to be talking about is people trying to impersonate others. Now, as somebody who has a YouTube channel, I am somebody who regularly, unfortunately, gets impersonated on these various different networks, whether it be Xbox or PlayStation. Um, I don't know if people do it on PC or if you can do that on certain games or what, but uh, I do know that people have definitely tried to scam other people by impersonating me. Now, what I'm going to be talking about here is kind of some ways that you can actually take a look and find out if the person that you're talking to is actually the person that you think that you're talking to. So, first things first, as you can see on the screen over here, um, yeah, right there, you're going to see my only PlayStation Network ID is Clickwid, K-L-I-Q-U-I-D. That's the only one that I have. Everything else is not me. So if there's been somebody out there trying to specifically go after my fans recently uh, with the username Clickwid TV. Now, while this is my Twitter handle, it is not my handle on PlayStation Network. I do not use Clickwid TV. I am not Clickwid TV on PlayStation Network. I'm not. So if you're getting messages from that person on your PlayStation, Tell them to screw off. They're not me. They're going to scam you. They've scammed numerous people acting as me. And I'm not the only one that this has happened to. Uh, and I, when I say happened to, I, it doesn't affect me because they're not going to try and scam me with my own username, obviously. They're trying to go after you guys. But when I say it's happened to me, what I'm saying is that people are impersonating me. And, and like I said, I'm not the only one that's happened to. Uh, London, it's happened to specifically. I remember, I believe Ryan, it's happened to as well. So what you guys need to do to make sure that you're not going to get scammed is that you've got to take the proper precautions to determine if you're talking to the right person. So first of all, what you should always do is utilize another form of communication rather than just your PlayStation or your Xbox. Make sure that you go on and you talk to this person, whether it be on Twitter or on Facebook, if you know their Facebook, probably that's probably not likely in most cases, but you know it could be depending on the person. Um, definitely go out there and make sure that you are communicating with them on Twitter. And you have to make sure that the, even the, the Twitter account is legitimate because I know there's been a couple of people who have had their Twitter accounts even uh, impersonated. So, uh, for example, Mikey Sweats, I believe that somebody had like a Mike, Mike Sweats or Mikey Sweat or something like that. Um, and people were impersonating Mikey Sweats. If you guys know him, he's a pretty decent sized Twitch uh, streamer of Madden and he get, does tons of giveaways and that kind of thing. And uh, somebody was acting as him trying to get people to follow them and they were scamming people and he had something like 2,000 followers on Twitter so it, it looks like a legitimate account but the real Mikey Sweats had like a couple thousand more sub, uh, a couple thousand more followers excuse me on Twitter uh, and that kind of thing so you have to make sure that you're conversing with the real person just make sure that that's happening um, and, and just for you guys' information, like I said before, my Twitter account is Clickwood TV. So K-L-I-Q-U-I-D TV. So it's at Clickwood TV on Twitter. And if you're going to be conversing with me, that's the only place that I'm really going to be conversing with most of you other than in the comments section of my YouTube videos. Um, and uh, so, you know, of course, be sure to make sure that if you see comments in the YouTube section as well, you hover over their username and make sure that it has some sort of indicator of how many subscribers they have because there's definitely people that try to impersonate various YouTubers on there as well. I've seen somebody commenting as Cash Nasty Gaming on other other people's videos and mine included as well and it's not the real cash nasty despite the fact that the real cash nasty does comment on youtube videos and that kind of stuff so it can be kind of confusing you got to put your mouse over that and uh, a little indicator will pop up and it'll show like a little bit of information about them and it will show how many subscribers that they have so if it shows you know six subscribers or zero subscribers or something you know that's not the real person 
Same thing on Twitter. You got to go on there and make sure that they have their information somewhere listed, uh, whether it be on their YouTube channel or something like that, so that you can kind of verify uh, and determine exactly who you're talking to. But when it comes to the actual consoles, this is really the place where you're getting scammed. And this is where you really need to determine that you're talking to the right person. So what I'm going to do is flip over and you're going to see my PlayStation. And uh, so I'm, I'm logged into Ultimate Team right now. Now, unfortunately, there really isn't a great way to determine whether you're talking to somebody uh, uh, within Ultimate Team, you know, doing trades and that kind of stuff, because a lot of times their names can look very, very similar to another name that isn't exactly the right thing. So it's not the right person. So like, uh, let's see here if I can find an example. Okay, so this person right here, rated RT or what is it? R-T-O-B-L or something like that. Uh, I'll just go back to the thing so you guys can see it. Now, if, if I was trying to impersonate this person, uh, just hypothetically, which is not something that I do, by the way, of course, um, but you could make your username rated R-T-O-B, and then instead of an L, you use a capital I. Now, the PlayStation font that they use for these, uh, for the actual usernames will not show up the, the line on the top and the bottom of it. So, it, it basically, the, a, a small L looks the same as a capital I in a lot of the fonts that are used, and, and it probably isn't on this one. Um, I guess I can't really tell because I, I can't see what it actually would look like. But, you know, if you're, like, you're looking in your actual PlayStation um, ID, so if you go up here into, uh, like, your friends, for example, and you go into search, uh, you can actually see here. This is a good example of it. Do you see where it says enter online ID or real name? Now, do you see the L in real and the I in ID? They look exactly identical, despite the fact that they're a different character. Now, this is very, very confusing to people. So, what I'm going to recommend that you guys do is when you're logged into your actual PlayStation, go over here, and if you're conversing with somebody, if somebody sent you a message and they're acting as somebody, or, or I shouldn't say acting because you don't know, um, if you think that you're talking to somebody, make sure that you go up here and you do it like this. If I want to try and talk to somebody, let's say I want to talk to maybe London, okay? Now, if if I think that I'm conversing with him, he's going to show up on my actual messages, and I, I don't know for sure based off this font that they use on PlayStation if I'm talking to the real London. So what I need to do is actually go up here and type in L-U-N-D-E-N-07. That's what London's... Uh, his PlayStation handle is now as you can see here there are people that have similar uh, names to London now of course I'm not assuming that any of these people are necessarily impersonating London or anything like that but I do know that there is somebody who has a fake London account so obviously you go over here and you see London 07 and he's got the um, the God of War icon and, and unfortunately people can copy that anyway so that's not really a great indicator but you can see the capital L on London now as soon as you type that in you can actually view his name right and you can see here obviously I'm friends with him so when I actually go over here I can actually see all the games that he's played I can see his uh, various different stuff if he's on my friends list and if he's not on my friends list like let's say I was I was viewing with this person like let's say this person was London um, I still I wouldn't be able to see all this stuff but at least I would be able to see that there's a capital L there at the beginning of his name so it gets a little bit confusing unfortunately but the bottom line is that you need to be able to go up here and actually type in these people's names so that you can find the real person if for example, they were trying to fake you out and use, uh, a, instead of a, 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 um, a small L, they were using a capital I. Watch this. Now, this person does not have an account. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I think the person was using like L-U-N-D-E-N-R-T-R or something like that, right? So like, look at this. This person here, they actually have L-U-N-D-E-N-R-T-R -R is what it looks like, right? 
But the way that we were able to figure out that that was not the right person is that we actually typed in the capital I here, or and you can make it a small I, it doesn't matter, um, and they'll still show up here, right? So this person has tried to steal from other people. They've, they've tried to do that on numerous occasions, and the same thing happens with me. Watch this, if I type in Clickwood TV, you can actually see um, that this person, uh, this is actually an account that is impersonating me right now, okay? They only have one star next to their name, which should be an indicator given the fact that I've played quite a bit of video games. I don't have a ton of uh, the stars or anything like that, but you can actually see here they haven't really done anything, but they're on here trying to scam people. So again, you have to be very, very careful about these people. They are trying to scam you. And just for the record, guys, like I said, if you ever want to converse with me, I'm probably not going to do it through messages on PlayStation just because it's a pain in the butt to use this messaging system. If I'm going to be talking to anybody, it's probably going to be on Twitter or maybe it's going to be on Skype or something like that. And unfortunately, you really can't determine uh, whether you're talking to the right person uh, unless you go on here onto the actual PlayStation or the Xbox and type it in like that. You have to really do your due diligence before you actually make a trade with these people. And uh, once you actually type in these people's names and you start to converse with them, um, you are actually going to be able to see that... Um, you, when you actually uh, type in a message to them, let's just type in London's real quick here, and I don't think he'll mind that we send him a message. Um, once his name pops up here, I'm going to type him a quick message, right? And what's going to happen is, uh, let's see here. Why is it not letting me type anything? No, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to say hi to him real quickly. Now, what's going to happen is that when I go into my actual messages now, you are gonna see that there's a message here of me conversing with London and I said hi to him, right? Now, if there was another person trying to impersonate London, their message would be below this in a separate message. That's a very, very key indicator, guys. You have to be sure to pay attention to this, okay? And I don't want anybody to get scammed, but this is kind of the kind the stuff that's happening now. People are trying to go on here and impersonate YouTubers. They're trying to impersonate uh, various different people on within the Mutt community to get coins out of you, uh, to steal your cards and things like that. I don't want people to get scammed. I wanted you guys to be aware of this and uh, really give you an opportunity to try and actually stop this from happening. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I know I realized it was a long video for uh, something that probably could have been explained in like a minute. But I really wanted to go in and show you guys exactly how this is happening and how people are scamming people and what you need to be aware of. There are a ton of other ways that people are scamming right now in the community, but do not fall for this specific scam, guys. Um, it, like I said, just make sure that you go up there and double check that username, whether you're on PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, and again, the only username that I have is K-L-I-Q-U-I-D on PlayStation, okay? I am actually on Xbox One as well, and I do own the gamer tag Clickwood on Xbox. However, I don't play Madden on Xbox. And unfortunately, I really don't play any games right now on Xbox. I pretty much use it as a media device. So if you see anybody trying to get cards off of you on Xbox One, that's not me, at least as of right now of the time that this video is being recorded, which is January 19th. I don't play Madden on Xbox. Um, and again, on PlayStation, it's only K-L-I-Q-U-I-D. So make sure that if you're conversing with anybody that they have that username. That would be me. And again, I'm probably not going to converse with you on PlayStation. It'll probably be on Twitter, maybe Skype. So thank you guys for watching the video. Don't get scammed. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please be sure to hit the like button. And guys, if you would share this video, I would greatly appreciate it. We're trying to get this information out so that other people don't get scammed. It's a real big problem in the community right now, and I don't want these people to succeed. I want them to have as hard of a time as they possibly can scamming people. It should be the biggest pain in the butt ever for them to find any victims on this. So if you're a subscriber of mine, please be sure to share this video, whether it be on your Twitter account or um, like it or sh send it to your favorites on YouTube. If you guys would do that, help it show up a little bit more prominently in the YouTube videos. Um, it's, it's not about necessarily making money on this video because this isn't going to be my most watched video or anything like that. It's about telling people 
not to get scammed. It's really just a public service announcement. So I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. And I, got, I guess I'll talk to you guys again soon. Do not get scammed. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.